Hi ladies, today is May 22nd and we are on page 62 in our packet. Um, so Gene has some baseball cards. John gave him 160 cards. Now he has 425. How many cards did Gene have to start with? All right, so again, Gene has some baseball cards. John gave him 160 cards. Now he has 425 cards. How many cards did Gene have to start with? All right, so we know that Gene had some cards and some uh, means we don't know what that is. We don't actually know how many cards um, Gene has to begin with. John then gives him 160 cards. So he gave him 160 cards. And then now, after the, um, the amount of cards he had in getting these 160 cards, now he has 425. So we want to ask ourselves, how many did Gene start with? All right, so how many cards did Gene start with? Um, and this is going to be this part right here. All right, so Gene has some baseball cards. That's how many cards he started with. All right, so we want to think about how we can use what he has now and what he was given to figure out how many cards he started with. So at this point, I want you to go ahead, um, start marking up your paper, um, working on that planning section, writing out those quantities and what they represent, filling out that um, solve section, checking section, and then the rest of your paper. Once you're completely finished, go ahead and unpause and we'll check your work together. All right, ladies, so we are um, solving our problem about Gene and his baseball cards. Um, so he has some cards. We don't know what some represents. Um, and then John, his friend, gives him 160 more cards, and now he has 425. Um, so we're trying to figure out what he started with. All right, so he now has a total of 425 cards. So we want to think. If that's what he has now, before he was given more cards, he had to have had less. Um, so we don't necessarily want our answer to get any bigger than 425. We actually want it to be less than 425 because 425 is our whole. All right. So if 425 cards is our whole, we're trying to figure out what two numbers we're putting together to equal this. All right. And we know that. Um, he's given 160 cards, um, but we don't know how many cards he started with. This is that sum cards that he had to begin with. All right. So we want to think if we have our whole of 425 cards and we have a part that he was given 160 cards, um, how can I use these two amounts of cards to find that missing portion? Also, my two units are the same. I have 425 cards and 160 cards. So because my units are the same, I can add and subtract them together. Um, but I want you to think, I, am I making 160 groups to try and get to 425? Am I making equal groups? Am I trying to find that difference? Um, because I already have my whole. So we're either subtracting or dividing in order to make um, that missing part. And we want to think, are we taking 425 and dividing it into 160 pieces, or are we trying to find the difference between these? Um, so the answer is we're trying to find the difference. We don't want to divide. So we want to take that 425, and we want to subtract the 160 to figure out what that difference is. So 5 minus 0 is 5. We borrow, make this a 3, make this a 12. 12 minus 6 is 6. 3 minus 1 is 2. So it's showing that he had 265 cards to begin with, but we want to check our work by doing the opposite operation, which is addition. So 5 plus 0 is 5. 6 plus 6 is 12. 2 plus 2 is 4. So we're showing that this is correct. So he, need, um, he started with 265 cards. Um, another way that we could solve this is by kind of doing what we did earlier where or yesterday um, where we take 160 and start with that and we count up to 425. That does take a little bit of extra time um, because you're drawing out pictures 
um, but it will also um, help you to, to figure out your answer as well. So what we could do is start with 160. So we want to start with that 100 block, and then we're going to do six tens, three, four, five, six. So this is 160. So 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So we have 160. Um, and we're going to add another amount to that to get us to 245. Um, or I'm sorry, 425. So 160. Um, and then we want to maybe add um, to get to 425. So 160. If I do another 100 block, I have 260, 360, because I have 160, now 260, 360. But if I do another 100, I'm going to be over 425. So now I want to start with my, um, my, or my 10s. So this is 300, 1, 2, 3, and 60. So 360. Um, 370, 380, I'm using 10s, 390, and then now I'm going to add another 10, and that's going to get me 400. So now I'm at 400, 410, 420, so I'm at 420, now I need 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so now... I have 160, 260, 360, 370, 80, 90, 400, 410, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So this all together equals 425, all right? So we want to add this up to figure out what that equals. So I have 10, um, 100, 200, 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, and 65. So by checking our work again, we're showing that 160 plus 265 gives me 425. So the amount of cards that he started with was 265 cards. Um, and just like yesterday, we can do two different ways of writing this equation. We could do the 425 minus 160 to give us the 265, or we can use this visual, which is us adding 160 plus 265, which gives me my total of 425 cards. So either one uh, works to get you to the same answer. Um, and you're still using the same numbers to create your equations.